Barton Nash CEO Tony Sarsom joins us now with his pulse on inflation, the consumer for the holiday season. Tony, um, so you guys, of course, a big distributor uh, of groceries, operate supermarkets themselves. Two percent or so annualized food at home inflation. Yeah. Walmart talking about deflation in some categories. How does it feel to you? How are consumers navigating it? Right. So let me give you a little backdrop also. As you know, we operate or, or deliver grocery and wholesale service over 2,500 stores in the middle yeah. of the country. And um, about 80 percent of those operate as small businesses and they're the real heartbeat of those communities. So it's largely it's a little bit of a rural skew versus uh, versus others. And we are, of course, knee deep into one of our favorite seasons, eating season. So we're keenly aware of things like inflation, how it's going to impact uh, shoppers uh, overall. We have um, we've gathered up some information on uh, on shopper trends and what people are thinking about, and there is a real uh, feeling of wanting to get back to the comfort and nostalgia of the big family gatherings. We're trying to make that as easy and convenient for folks uh, as possible, and so uh, some of those trends we're seeing are things like uh, people are getting uh, getting to very big family gatherings, 12 on average from the survey data we we collected. Uh, a lot of dishes that we've got gathering about 10 side dishes overall uh, at the table, and uh, one of the more interesting stats that we found is that uh, about 60 percent of the folks are going to be attending three or more of these celebrations. So it's a lot of stuff that they're doing, a lot of places they're going, and they'll be having to manage all that complexity. So it'll be a very festive season, we're certain, um, but complicated. And we want to make it as uncomplicated as possible as we look at that. So we're looking at things like how do we make their, stretch their dollars a little bit further, and how do we make the season more convenient for them as well. And so we have some, some things that we've done in that space. Uh, on, on your question about inflation overall, we've worked really hard to keep prices in check and we're particularly focused on those private label, our, our own brands, and making sure that we are very aggressive on the things that our folks are looking for deals. We know that some families are still reeling from the inflation. Some families have lost the government subsidies for food benefits recently. And, um, and that is, it has them hunting for those deals. I think that's one reason why there's another stat I'll share that, that folks are telling us they may want them going to three or more stores to get their essentials, grocery stores to get their essentials. I think part of that's looking for convenience and items. We also think part of it's looking for good deals. So we want to make sure they have the opportunity to trade up to our private brands with great pricing. And what about the inflation that you are experiencing or have experienced, I mean, on the other end? Because we've seen some retailers caught in a squeeze here. That's right. Yeah, it was a big ramp up last year in 2022. And uh, during that year, we had, you know, obviously, the, the extraordinary inflation. Uh, we put together what we call our merchandise and transformation program. Where we got back and wanted to make sure we had a really uh, settled and productive way to think about pricing and challenge our suppliers to make sure that they weren't taking pricing that was above and beyond their imp input costs. And that's played out very well. And we see that those, costs, those prices have modified across the entire industry. And we're also seeing that folks are looking to drive uh, 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 volume, and so they're looking for more deals. And so we're working very close with our suppliers to make sure there's great deals out there for those price-sensitive shoppers. One of the things that came out of the Walmart call was the idea that if you do get some deflation in, uh, in necessities, you get a little more relief in discretionary categories. Right. You think that's too aspirational? Well, uh, it's a little aspirational, but we're, but we're certainly looking forward to that. We think there's a little bit of a balance that could occur in that space where there are folks who now are looking, as they stretch their dollars a little bit further on those core categories, they're looking for ways to actually provide more convenience, more indulgence on those items that might be a little bit more expensive.